What I believe is uh, threatening us as a civilization is precisely the loss of vision. I think we, have, we are becoming so wrapped up with material things, material values, what affluence brings in the temporal order that we are losing the vision, which is the vision of the human soul and the human spirit, the soaring spirit that has made man great. Two years ago, Gerald Emma Carter was Bishop of London, Ontario. At age 65, it could have been suggested that he would have ended his distinguished career in that city. This past weekend, though, as Archbishop of Toronto, he received a symbolic red beretta from Pope John Paul and became a member of the world's most exclusive club, the Roman Catholic College of Cardinals. Cardinal Carter, the story began in Montreal. Born March 1st, 1912 to Thomas and Mary Carter, his life was one of family. Seen here with brother Alex, who would have thought that the two would become pillars of the church in Canada? He was ordained a diocesan priest on May 22nd, 1937, but family always remained first and foremost. I would say there are two things that we have to do. The first is to sound the alarm because I believe that the family, marriage and the family, and the two things are totally interrelated, are the cornerstone of our society. And uh, we grew up in that atmosphere. Now, when children are growing up with single parents, separated parents, parents are perhaps always bickering and quarreling, when the institute of marriage itself is in, in doubt, I think that this has a very serious effect. So the first thing I, have, I would say that the church must call to the world and say, watch it we're on the wrong road so we are going to we're going to have to say please let's get back to some of the basic values which has made our civilization and the other thing will be of course to try to offer some advice as to how to do it try to plumb the reasons for this cardinal carter's brother alex was soon after ordained a priest and his two sisters became nuns the two men would become bishops a rarity in one family what made Cardinal Carter so extraordinarily popular was his ease with people, be it with Pope John XXIII or Pope Paul VI, or just with anyone and everyone, a man at ease with himself. I think peace is, it doesn't depend on where you are, what job you have, what success you have. It's something which comes from within you. When you're at peace with yourself, in other words, you accept yourself the way you are, with your faults, with your strengths, and say, well, this is what I've got, and I'll live with it. That's peace, in my opinion. 